it's not very likely that you're ever going to become rich by selling websites Dude. to clients. Oh. Now, don't get me wrong. You can definitely make great money working with clients. I know a lot of designers that are making multiple six figures doing just that. In fact, this is exactly what I teach inside of my private community. I believe it's one of the best careers you can have. But to make really big money, like millions and millions of dollars, it requires something different. If you want to make life changing generational wealth, the best way to do this as a designer is to create your own SaaS. SaaS stands for software as a service. It's not a new idea. In fact, it's probably more popular and saturated than ever before. But your unique combination of skills as a designer gives you an extremely unique position. Those skills that you've developed as a designer make it more likely for you to succeed in SaaS than anybody else. Let me show you why. To have a software that's successful, you really need just two things. The first is your software needs to solve a problem. Otherwise, people have no reason to pay for it. And the second part is the software has to be easy for users to pick up, learn, and use effectively. Now, there are lots of founders that have these great ideas and they've found really important problems that they can solve. But there is a massive gap between their great ideas and a visual interface that actually helps the user accomplish that intended goal. You can have the best idea in the world, but if people don't understand it or know how to use it, it's worthless. I've learned this from my own SaaS products. It is an absolute superpower to have both the ideas and the ability to implement all in the same brain. It allows me as the founder to build and evolve a product a thousand times faster than a traditional founder. So here's an example. This is my SEO SaaS, clicks.so. I acquired this business just a few months ago, and while it was a great tool when I bought it, it was really difficult to navigate and use. It was a great idea that solved a lot of problems, but it lacked that visual interface that made it easy for users to get the most out of the software. So when I bought this, the very first thing I did was reworked the entire UI and UX of the software. And the way I actually did this was build it out page by page in Webflow. I literally designed and developed the software, connected all of the buttons, and made it feel like it was a real software without connecting anything on the back end. Now, the reason I did it this way was, for me, it's just the easiest way for me to get my ideas down and see how everything works together. And then once I was done, I just passed these pages over to the developers so they could copy those styles and implement everything that I had built. Doing it this way allowed me to brainstorm, ideate, and finalize an amazing experience in just a few days. Now, if I didn't have any sort of design or development background, it would have taken me weeks months, maybe even years for me to figure out how this should all look visually and then be able to hand it over to developers to implement it. Usually this means the founders have to find a designer and then try to express and verbalize what they're trying to accomplish. And then it's up to the designer to come up with these ideas and put it all together, which again, just shows you the big gap between the ideas of a founder and a visual interface that accomplishes the goals that they're trying to accomplish. So for you as a designer, being both the founder with the ideas and a designer with the skill set to create this, you have an advantage over everybody else. Now for me personally, this has been the most fulfilling part of my career as a designer because I'm finally working on my own product without any sort of restraints or client expectations. And on top of all of that, the potential financial upside of this is far greater than anything that I've ever built before. Now, the reason that SaaS is so profitable is because you can exit for up to six times your annual revenue and sometimes even more. So what this means for you is if you can build a SaaS that makes $5,000 a month, you could potentially sell that software for up to $360,000. So not only can this software pay you along the way, but you have this opportunity for a massive exit that could be life-changing money. Now we haven't even started to talk about all the awesome AI tools that can help you develop your own tool without even bringing on other developers. There are just so many cool opportunities right now, which is why you as a designer are more well equipped to succeed at SaaS than anybody else. You know how to build a beautiful product, you know how to solve problems, you know how to market a business, and you've got all the skills necessary. So if you put all of that together and do it right, this could be your early retirement plan. Now this is where it gets really fun. Once you have a working software, 
you're able to implement new ideas and strategies and get instant feedback on whether or not they work. In design, we rarely get to see the immediate effects of our design work. But as the owner of a software, you can implement these things and immediately see how they change the number of users, conversion rates, your churn rate, which is how many people cancel. It's like you're playing this game to see which ideas and features are going to improve the overall performance and the revenue of your business. With my software companies, there's been times where I've implemented a small change in the design to the onboarding, for example, that has immediately added an additional $2,000 a month in recurring revenue. So you can see how your design expertise is so valuable in the world of SaaS. Another thing that I've loved working on recently is this new feature that we're adding to Clicks, which is our AI SEO. So this full interface is basically going to help you get your brand mentioned on LLMs like ChatGPT and Perplexity. And the thing that's been so fun about this is it's kind of new territory for everybody. And so there are a lot of these tools popping up and everyone has a completely different interface. And so we really got to start at ground zero to decide how this makes sense to show visually all of these different rankings and mentions and prompts. And this is the type of stuff that is so fulfilling as a designer. And I love being able to add these new features and ideas and designs to a software knowing that it's going to benefit it for the long term and that I'm the one that's going to reap the financial reward for that. So this whole process is basically just designing a product that you yourself would like to use. And if it's something that you would be willing to pay for and that you would find value in or that would solve your problems, other people are going to be willing to pay for it too. Now this is beside the point, but if you need an SEO tool for your website that's easy to use, or maybe you use one of those other SEO tools that cost hundreds of dollars a month, I would definitely recommend going and checking out Clicks. It is evolving into such an awesome tool, and especially once our new AI features launch, you're absolutely going to love it. So you can find it by going to clicks.so. Now the last thing that I wanna mention is even if you have no desire to start your own software, come up with an idea, uh, do any of that, there are still huge opportunities for you as a designer. There are tons of founders that have amazing ideas, but they can't really get their idea off the ground because they have no idea how to visualize it all and turn it into a working software. And so for you to reach out and partner with them and say, you've got the ideas and probably the experience at growing these things, I've got the design expertise to make it look beautiful and make it easy to use. If you can find those types of partnerships, you can create an awesome dynamic that works really well to make it even more likely that you succeed. So with all that said, I just wanted to share this with you because I'm so excited about the awesome opportunities. And I would encourage you as a designer to look for these opportunities, look to build your own product, your own software. I think you'll be surprised at how much easier it is for you than anybody else that's doing it because you have honed the skills to make this thing work when others can't. So if this stuff interests you or you wanna learn more about how I'm building my softwares, just comment down below. Let me know what questions you have, let me know what interests you, and we'll have more videos like this coming out soon.